In the previous lesson, we saw something strange. We logged count before and after calling set count, and both logs showed zero, but the UI showed one. This is something that trips up almost every React developer when they're starting out, so let me explain why it happens. It comes down to the three phases we talked about in the previous lesson, trigger, render, and commit. When the increment button is clicked, we enter the handle click function. And the moment we call set count, we officially enter the trigger phase. At that point, React simply marks the component for a re-render. It doesn't stop your function halfway, re-render the component, and then jump back into your function. That never happens. Instead, React lets your entire event handler run from start to finish using the current state. And only after the handler completes, does React move on to the render phase and call your component again with the new value. Let me update the logs to make this really clear. Back in our simple counter component, I'm going to update this to render phase, component rendering with count is equal to count. And within handle click, I will update the last console log statement still in trigger phase. After set count, count is count. Go back to the browser and we have an error because we have log statement before state initialization. Save the file, refresh, clear the console, and now watch the log statements when I click the button. Increment, before set count, count is zero. Still in trigger phase, after set count, count is zero. Render phase, component rendering with count is equal to one. You can see that the render phase happens after your event handler finishes. During your event handler, you're still in the trigger phase and working with a snapshot of state from the current render. And this is the key takeaway for this lesson. In React, state updates are not immediate. When you call set state, you are scheduling an update for the next render. Inside your current render, the state values won't change. They're a snapshot and snapshots don't change. So if you log the count inside your event handler, you will always get the same value. Think of it like taking a photo. Once you take the photo, the people in it don't move, even if the real people walk away. State in a render is like that photo. It's frozen at that moment in time. Keep this in mind because it becomes really important when you try to do multiple updates in a row and expect React to keep up. Let me show you an example of what I mean. In our simple counter component, I'm going to update the handle click function to add two more set count calls in a row with logs to show the count. So call count, passing in count plus one, and add a log statement. After set count, count plus one, count is count. I'm going to duplicate these two statements. So we have multiple set count calls. I'm going to update the second one to count plus five. After set count, count plus five. And the third one, set count, count plus 10. Let's save the file, go back to the browser, and let's see what happens when I click the button. Refresh, clear the console, click increment. After set count, count plus one, count is zero. After set count, count plus five, it's still zero. After set count, count plus 10, still zero. Why does that happen? Because throughout the trigger phase, which is our entire event handler, our snapshot of state is zero and we are only queuing updates. So set count zero plus one will queue an update to one. Count zero plus five will queue an update to five. Count zero plus 10 will queue an update to 10. The last update wins and only when the render phase happens does count actually become 10 which we can see in the console. Render phase, component rendering with count is equal to 10. Even if you were to add a set timeout, the count would still be zero because the state is still a snapshot and frozen in time. So within handle click, let's add set timeout. We pass in a callback function that is going to run after two seconds. And we will log to the console. After two seconds, count is count. Back in the browser, refresh, clear the console, click increment. We see the three zeros. And after two seconds, 
the count is still zero. The trigger, render, and commit faces all complete and the UI shows 10, but the set timeout log message still shows zero. Variable's value never changes within a render, even if its event handler's code is asynchronous. This snapshot behavior might seem weird at first, but it's actually what makes React predictable. Your event handlers work with consistent data and you don't have to worry about values changing in the middle of your function. I hope this makes sense because it is really important to understand. Now, we do have a few more things to cover about state, so let's keep going.